There's nothing more frustrating than looking for a file like a photo or video only to realize that you've accidentally deleted it, and especially for me when it comes to creating content. I've tried to find old footage in the past only to find out it's gone. Now, luckily, when it comes to our storage, deleting it doesn't necessarily mean it's gone forever, and it may only be marked as deleted. So today, I'm going to show you how you can get the files back. So full disclosure, before we get started, the video is sponsored by Wondershare. So Recoverit is a data recovery software, and it's going to help you recover lost files, whether they be documents, photos, or videos. And best of all, it works with your computers, your external drives and SD cards, as well as your mobile devices, and it even works with NAS drives or Linux. Now, it doesn't matter how the data was lost, whether you accidentally deleted it, it was a system crash that corrupted some data, or even if you lost something through a virus attack, Recoverit is going to help you get it back. And one of my favorite features of Recoverit is the enhanced recovery for your lost videos or photos, as well as the corrupted video repair tool if you do find a video that won't play back properly. So to get the software, you just head to their website and download it. And of course, the link is down in the description. And there's a free version with limited features, as well as a fully functioning paid version. Now, when you open it up, you're greeted with this screen here. You can select from your hard drives and locations. And you can see I'm able to scan all of the hard drives on my computer, as well as the external drives and camera. And I think the best thing to do here is, of course, a test. So if we take a look at my USB drive, you can see I've got some thumbnails and some videos I was working on recently. If I delete all of the files, you can see they're gone and they're not even in my recycling bin as it's an external drive, so they bypass it. If I do a search on volume F, which is my USB drive, you can see that in just a few seconds, it's actually found all of the files that I just deleted. And then from this, we can pick the files we want to restore. But of course, in my case, I want them all back. So if I select them all and press restore, it then asks me where I want to save them, so I'm just going to create a folder to save them to. And all we have to do then is hit recover. Once the recovery is completed, you can see it's automatically opened up this new location and all my files are there. Video files tend to be the hardest to recover, but you can see that they all play back with no issues at all. The images also open with no problems and all my files have been recovered with no errors. Now, of course, this is an easier scenario as I've just deleted the files, so they will be able to be recovered. To put in simple terms, when you delete something, the space is then marked as free again for your computer. So when you need to write new files, it can write onto that part of the hard drive. This means as long as the data hasn't been overwritten by something new, then it can be recovered. And that's why it's important to recover your data as soon as possible. If you're working with a larger drive, we've also got filters we can use to make finding files a lot easier. So if it's a video, you can just filter by video and then look at the video files. If it's audio, we can filter by audio and so on. Now, if you know the file name or have a rough idea of what the file name was, you can also just do a search on that. And best of all, when it comes to the media, you can preview it in this screen before you even recover it. If you try to preview a video though, and you do find that it's corrupted, all you have to do is recover what you can, head back to the home screen, and then add the video to the corrupted video repair section and see if it can fix it. Now, if you do a scan and you don't find the file you're looking for, then I highly recommend you head over to the enhanced recovery. And in here, you just select the drive. You then select the file format that your media was. And don't worry if you don't know, as you can select multiple. Now, once you've done that, you just press start and it then performs a deep scan of the drive. So that's just a deletion scenario. And another great use is corrupted SD cards, which has happened to me quite often. When a drive is corrupted, Windows is just going to ask you to format it. And this means that you're going to lose all of your data. But if that happens, you can just use recover it to get the files off it that you need. And then you can go ahead, format the SD card and repair it. As you can see, the software is simple and well laid out. So even if it's your first time using it, you'll easily be able to navigate it and find the features you need. It's also important to know that this is paid software, but they will let you have a free version with limited functionality. And the best bit is if you're trying to recover a file, you can try it with the free version first. If you find it and you're able to preview it, then you know it is recoverable and you can then just purchase the software to get your file back. And of course, the link is down in the description below for both versions, so you can go ahead and check them out now. Now, in my testing, the software has performed very well and recovered plenty of old files that I've deleted on my system. But when it comes to data recovery, you will always get mixed results depending on the situation. If you've deleted your file and then pretty much filled up the drive, 
it's going to be a lot less likely to be able to recover it, whereas if you've got plenty of space left on the drive, there's a much better chance the file is still recoverable. It was a great piece of software to have just in case, and as I said, the best thing is that you can try it before you buy. Now, hopefully I've covered everything in today's video, but if there is anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.